start the scud, we're going to put some thin black thread part way down the hook. Now we're just going to clip the tag end here. And continue the thread down halfway through the bend. Now we're going to take a piece of thin silver wire and attach it to the base of the hook. Now from here we're going to grab a piece of material. Now I got this, which is kind of a rubbery type material that's used inside dresses to hold them up on the shelf. My wife gave me this. They usually just use it for store displays, so it's usually thrown out afterwards. You can use a bit of a zippered sandwich bag or other bit of plastic. And there's also materials so you can buy at the fly tying shops as well. Anyways, we're going to tie this on. And once it's secure in place the way you want it, which you want it flat on top of the hooks and perfectly centered if possible, you know, just clip any tag ends you may have. Just making sure that it's perfectly centered or as close to it as possible. Now, I like to use dubbing wax to do this, I'm just going to take a little bit of the wax, work it a little bit so it's a bit warmer and easier to get onto the line. Now this little rub up and down, kind of cut into the wax with the thread. And I'm just going to take a little bit of black dubbing, as you can see here. Now if you use, I like to use just small amounts at a time and put it on. If you don't get enough on the first time, you can always add more find it a bit easier to do it that way opposed to trying to remove some. So you see here I decided I want a little bit more. And you can also vary colors too and have more than one color in it, but I'm just going straight black. Now these will basically emulate antenna, legs, whatever else there is. Now I'm leaving about a third of the shank before the eye just so that I have room to finish off the fly when we're done. Now first I take the uh, the body material, whatever I used. And this is a tricky bit because you have to keep it centered. As you can see, I'm actually kind of struggling with this. When I did my first one today, I had no hitch doing this whatsoever, but this particular one just did not cooperate with me. You really want to make sure the material is tight. As you can see, I'm having to constantly adjust this Once you get it down, it's not too bad. So now, three or four wraps to secure it, and then three or four wraps underneath it before the eye just to hold it into place a little bit better. I'm just adjusting it to make sure it stayed centered. And like I said, this material is actually quite stretchy, so it's I want to leave a little bit of an extra bit of a tag just so it doesn't stretch back after I finish it. I'm going to cut the end off here, being careful not to cut any of the thread. A couple wraps just to s secure it down. Now taking that thin silver wire, we're going to do a few wraps around. 
and this will give it the appearance of segments in the top of the shell. And of course, the tighter you pull down on it, the more the segments are defined. Now once we get the wire to where we like, a few wraps to secure it. And now you can just twist the wire and it should break off pretty easily. Now I'm just going to do a couple quarter hitches here just to tie it off. You can use the whip finish. Once everything is secure, you could use a, uh, a brush to pull down the dubbing to get the, the legs and stuff, but I think mine looks fun just the way it is, so a little bit of head finish. I'm going to do this around the head of the hook, and I'm going to actually do this over top of the body too, just to make sure everything on top is secured. Plus it gives it a nice finish afterwards. Now as you can see there's a few stray hairs on top, so I'm just going to trim those. And I'm going to also uh, just brush back any extra little bits. So first we're going to brush it back. And then trim any threads that I don't like. a black scud. Of course you want to match the colors to the ones that you have and here's the finished product.